trafficking in human bodies, profiting on human suffering, growing an economy based on that, that succeeds by failing people uh, is unjust, immoral, and irrational given the need for those dollars and those people to help us to green the economy and turn things around. To get on the other side of this uh, prison crisis, um, it's very straightforward, it's three R's. We've got to remove the profit motive. Nobody should be making money off of our criminal justice system. That's a basic moral value. Um, we've got to reallocate our public dollars from this massive incarceration industry to education and job creation and things that really make communities safe. Um, and the last thing is, you know, we've got to restore our communities, restore our communities to, to health and to well-being. You know, one of the things that's amazing to me is that somehow people who don't live in urban America have the final word on what strategy we're going to use to be safe. Um, the safest communities don't have the most police and the most prisons. The safest communities, you never see any police or any prisons at all. They have the best jobs, they have the best education, they have the best resources. Well, if that's the strategy that's working where communities are safe, why can't we have that strategy for urban America?